Should the Giants, how should rather, <laughs> they be approaching their quarterback position this offseason, which feels markedly different than where they were last year? Yeah, you, you know, look, the player always has to maximize cash to himself. The team has to do the best deal relative to what their cap situation and their long-term planning is. I know that sounds like a lot of like lawyer speak and capology speak, but really that's how the Giants should be approaching it. With the idea in mind, what Joe Shane just said, El, they want to have him there and they want to build the team around him. And, and I totally agree with that. And what does that mean? What does that mean? It probably looks like it looks at a contract somewhere around the $30 million per year range. I know there's still some people who would probably that would make their head explode and go, wait a minute, Daniel Jones, after one solid year, $30 million per year? Well, yeah, that's the going rate. They also need to help him out. They need to fortify the offensive line, figure out what they're going to do with Saquon Barkley. And most importantly, now think about the teams that he's dealing with in his own division, namely the Philadelphia Eagles. You see the weapons they gave Jalen Hurts? Those are the kind of weapons you need to give him. If you want him to compete with a guy like Jalen Hurts, not just be on the field with him in the playoffs, but compete with them and try to beat them head to head. So there's a lot going on here as far as make sure you structure the contract in such a way that you still are able to fill out the rest of this roster, both through the draft and through free agency, which the Giants are sitting in a really nice situation and then proceed from there. Look, I, I think the Giants, everything is looking on the up and up for them. They're in a real good position going forward. And I do think it would be wise for them to go ahead and lock this young man up because he has definitely gelled with Brian Dayball and Mike Kafka, the offensive coordinator. Yeah, he had a QBR of 61 this season. Best mark for a Giants quarterback in eight years. And again, Lewis, you said it. This time last year, they were just asking the question, can he actually be the leader of your franchise? Now <laughs> right. it seems like they've at the very yeah. least got that answer. Lewis Riddick joining us here. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.